Welcome back, tennis fans. Here we are for another quick news update, this time from the WTA, and it is in Dubai. All the seeds seem to be falling out. I'm not sure what's going on at the moment in Dubai, but all of them seem to be losing. It is very, very bizarre. And if this is life after Serena Williams, so to speak, it's not looking very good. I'm very worried. Uh, let's go into showing you what's going on in the draw at the moment. Uh, so as you can see here, look, we've got Sabalenka. She's just gone out in straight sets to Petra Kvitova. Uh, I've got this result up here. It was straight sets as well. 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. She tumbled out just uh, a few moments ago, actually, earlier on today, that the sixth seed, Iga Sviantek, She's gone out to Yelena Ostapenko, that one in three very, very close sets. But that is now a three wins in a row over Sviantek for Ostapenko. That's a, she seems to have her number, but it's a very close match, just losing out in that last set tie break. Moving down the draw, obviously, we had a big upset yesterday. Paula Badoza. She's in the top 10, obviously number five, getting knocked out by Gabriela Ruza. Uh, and that was in three sets. A big shot, possibly the biggest shock, I'd say, of the tournament so far. Moving on down through here, we can have a look. Elena Svitolina, she's tumbled out. Uh, Jill Teichman knocking her out in straight sets. Uh, another straight sets victory as well. The number 15 seed tumbling out of the tournament. I'll keep going down, and uh, we've got the reigning defending champion. She is out. It, Garbinia Mugolutsa out to uh, Kudametova has knocked her out in three sets, and I'm sure that somebody, uh, a lot of people had winning the competition, defending her title. Mugolutsa is out. We'll keep on going down. Uh, and as you can see here, Vondrasova, she's able to make it through, but only a little bit fortunate to get through the first round because another seed went tumbling out. Danielle Collins, our finalist from the Australian Open, she was a set up and then retired in the second set. So the ninth, um, well, it's the ninth seed in the tournament went tumbling out, the world number 11 at the moment. Crazy. And then we keep on going down and we've got Barbara Klaichikova down the bottom. She's been knocked out by the, the qualifier, Yastrzemska has knocked out Barbora Klaichikova. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. This was straight sets as well. So on the women's game, it's a little bit pot luck. But let me know in the comments section, what do you make of all of these upsets? This, this is literally all of the seeds are tumbling out. And it's looking like, well, the favourites for the tournament could possibly now be, let's see who's left in, in the competition, I'd possibly say it could be someone like Simona Halep, the two-time champion. Uh, she obviously won it here in 2020 and 2015 as well. But Kvitova, potentially, it's going to be somebody that we didn't expect, I think, is going to take this title. Uh, let us know well, in the comment section, who do you think is going to take the title in Dubai this year? Who is going to be the champion? If you haven't already, hit a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you very, very shortly for some more tennis action.